Oh, what's up, Sarah? Hi, how are you? I'm great. How about you? I'm okay. Um, so my question is, am I right to go into any sort of debt to go to my best friend's wedding? <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm going to say <laughs> to that, but, but tell me more. Okay, so this is my best friend of about 20 years. Um, and we both got engaged actually last month. Oh, gross. Y'all did it together? <laughs> no, not together. Actually, just surprisingly within a few days of each other, which is, uh, yeah, it was nice. But did you put that like on a vision um, board of some sort? Did you manifest that or something? That feels like what you did. All right. So. Honestly, we, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's happened is she's decided she wants to get married very, you know, very quickly. It's going to be in two months from now. And it's going to be a destination wedding across the country. Um, and I, I can't afford it. I just can't. My partner and I, we are actually signing to buy some properties so we can build our own home in the next few years. And of course, our own wedding. And I just, I can't afford it. And um, that's, the, that's the end of the conversation. That's the, that's the end of the conversation. <laughs> Yeah, it has been. I haven't heard from her. Yeah. Um, she did. She did sort of tell me that I have the wrong values and priorities. That I should be <laughs> willing to postpone <laughs> to postpone buying our property. I should, you know, think about taking out a credit card or a loan to make it to that. Uh, and I'm just, I'm shocked. I'm not really sure what to say or do beyond this. But yeah, uh, how long have y'all been friends? Twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. Golly, man, this is the this is the show of like boundaries and sad relationship endings. Um, I know. Can I give you? Can I paint you another picture? Please. Um, this past weekend, I, I mean, I just flew in um, from a funeral, mm-hmm. and one of my best friends on the planet, his name's Todd. I, you, I talked about it on the show. His mother passed away after a valiant fight with. Uh, Dementia, Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. And he sent a note um, uh, two weeks ago that said, Mm -hmm. um, I can't call you right this second because I'm a mess, but we did plan the funeral out. And so it's going to be this day. I know you're out on the road. You're all over the place. And if you can't make it, man, I totally get it. Yeah. It's a 30-year friendship. And that was a woman who was a surrogate mother for me in college. I was nine hours away from my own mom. And she welcomed me into yeah. her home. And she fed me. And she made me die laughing. And then when I got my first job back at the university, she fed me. She helped me when my marriage was on the rocks. And my oldest, one of my oldest best friends in the world said, uh, I absolutely understand the quick nature of this thing, your schedule, the cost, the expense, all of it. Mm-hmm. So that's just me painting you another picture. I'm not saying my friend's better than your friend, but he kind of is. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But, <laughs> um, but, yeah. but to me, that's what friendship looks like. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm getting married. I'm doing something crazy. Destination wedding across the country in two weeks, or two months. Ah, let's do it. I can't make that. Ugh, okay. I get it. Totally get it. I wish more mm-hmm. than anything you were here, but I totally get it. Because we're we're setting the the traditional path on fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I wish. She did say, you know, it's okay if you can't make it. And so I thought, you know, it would be okay if I can't. And I tried my best to figure it out, but it's not good enough. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And so... You have two um, two things to grieve here. One is the shallow mm-hmm. one. You'd already always pictured y'all were going to be at each other's weddings, like without even thinking about it. That picture's always been been in there, right? Definitely. Yeah, y'all are going to be each other's best mates. It's going to be awesome, and that's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Here's the deeper mm-hmm. grief. No idea she was that kind of friend, or maybe you did. Maybe yeah. you did. Not at all. Yeah, it's very shocking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <sighs> and it's yeah. hard when our so, friends when, when when life shows up and our friends aren't who we thought they were, even after two decades. I'm sorry, and you know what? It's it's kind of bananas. She's thinking the same thing about you right now. 
probably. Yeah. How old are you? Yeah. We're both 25, so we're pretty young, and the cost of living is crazy. I live on my on my own with my partner, and I have for a long time, and I don't make a ton of money, and you know we've been saving a lot to buy this this land that we bought, and we're so excited about that. And now I, I'm told I shouldn't do it, and I feel guilty, but I know it's crazy. Yeah, choose guilt over resentment because res- you're going to resent your friend. You're going to go to this party, this wedding. You're going to be a, a a nothing burger. The whole the party's about her. She's going to go have her dance. Her her picture is going to be fulfilled. You're going to come home. You're going to exhale. And then you're going to have put your entire plan, your ability to have a home, some sort of stability, um, is going to mm-hmm. be punted out one year, two years, and you're going to blame your friend for it. And that's not fair because you'll have made that choice. Yeah. You got to do the, the, the right thing in front of you, and that's the boundary you're drawing. And if your friend chooses to not be your friend because she doesn't like your boundary, it's a choice she's making. Yeah. And I hate this. You're 25. This is just growing up. Yeah. As, a, as the great Blink-182 yeah. says, I guess this is growing up. This is it, man. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> I hate it for you. But hey, be sad for a bit. Yeah. Be sad. That's right. Mm-hmm. And, um... For whatever it's worth, I would recommend not falling into anger. Wish her well. Wish her well. Get on the registry and send her a gift. Or if she's got a funny thing, send it to her hotel. Okay. She's made a choice. And you have to. Mm. But I'm not going to give away my character and my dignity. No. Is that fair? No. Yeah. And I got to choose my partner, too. And our life. And... Yeah, she can't understand that. Then. What would be a kind of a baller move is if y'all flew up there and got married the day before in the same place. <laughs> That's petty. <laughs> oh, dude. If, if we're going to be petty, let's go all in. Like Canadian petty. Let's go across, oh, gosh. get the cast of Letter Kenny to show up with you, which would be so great. And then you just get married the day before, post it on every platform known to man. And then in the hotel, when she's walking in, be like, oh, hey, oh, that's right. Yours is this weekend. Just do that. That's that's my actual recommendation. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> and that that would be worth putting off buying a stable place for you to live for a year. <laughs> okay. <good>. Noted. <laughs> just so, I mean, I went to a lot of grad school to come up with that answer, by the way. No, that's when yeah. uh, I call him Recess John. That's when a nine-year-old John comes out and they're like, "Oh yeah, I'll just set my bike on fire just so you can't ride yours." <laughs> like, yeah, that's, don't do that. But if you do do that, uh, if you do do that, send pictures because that'd be incredible. But don't do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hey, I'm Sounds I'm sad. Good. I'm sorry. I hate that for you. I wish that. Ugh, this is the second call on this show today. Third call on this show today. That just ends with. Ugh. Man, hate it for you, Sarah. But don't lose who you are in this process. Don't lose who you are. And who knows, maybe in six months, in a year, y'all can meet for coffee or whatever you drink up north. And uh, so y'all can meet for a bubbling hot cup of maple syrup and uh, maybe y'all can say, I'm sorry and I'm sorry. And y'all can get back to the way things were. Probably not, but maybe. Maybe.